Hey everyone! Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make cool Christmas nails for cheap. Okay, so I know you guys are thinking, seeing all these cool nail tutorial videos, you're like, I wish I had vinyls, I wish I had something to do to be able to make these really cool nails that everyone's been doing and lately I was like oh I really really want to do a Christmas nail tutorial because I do like to do my nails like I am pretty savvy when it comes to doing my nails I know you're like why you keep looking over there it's because there's so much snow outside and I literally can't get over it. it's like the first snow of the year and I'm just like it's so pretty it's like a moth to a flame I'm like oh I'm gonna go outside even though it's like freezing outside that's the only thing that's keeping me inside right now so I realized that it's pretty hard to do your nails when you don't have the equipment. And what better way to do your nails and, to, and save some money and, blah, 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 and be able to do nails yourself. Okay, so the other day I was feeding Caleb and realized that... Da, 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 da. What looks like your ordinary plastic is actually your Gerber lid. So we recently started feeding Caleb Gerber food. It worked. So my suggestion to you would be if you don't feel like going out and getting a nail mat or you don't feel like getting it online or you don't feel like paying $8 for a gigantic mail mat, mail, mail mat? A gigantic mail mat? A gigantic nail art mat. Then I would suggest literally if you know someone who has a baby, ask them for the lids. That's the first thing. Like, or I mean, if you don't have anyone who has any children who eat Gerber food, you could also go to the grocery store and get them for a dollar. And I know this is kind of crazy. You're like, what would I do with the food? Actually, a lot of the fruits taste delicious. Like, they, they're really good. So, like, if you, like, love bananas or if you love apples, like applesauce, literally get the apples. Or don't eat it. It's a dollar. Like, throw it away. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, Ellie, I have ten fingers. Like, I need a lot of these. Actually... I figured out that you could possibly do four. One, two, three, and four. Let's get to it. I'm really excited. Okay, so we're going to start out with our Gerber lids, however many you want. Um, make sure that you have all of your supplies, like your nail polish and your brushes. These may most definitely help you later on with your designs. Also, on the lid, you'll notice it says Gerber. Please don't use that side. Please don't. Use the smooth side, please. Please use the smooth side. And always, always, always put a clear coat down, kids, because you will not be able to get your little stencils up. Okay, so we're gonna first start out with our little Santa hat. We're gonna do the little white dots and you need to apply a clear coat in between because especially if you're working with red and white, it's definitely gonna bleed in some way. I noticed this definitely helped and uh, another clear on top of that. And if you are not too boring, then add some awesome hollow to it. Okay, so next we're going on to rainbow lights. So I thought it would be fun to do something other than just regular Christmas lights. I am just drawing a white line and then I'm just taking a very, very thin paintbrush and doing it on opposite sides. So it kind of looks like it's staggered a little bit. I'm starting out with red and I'm moving on to pink. And I know what you're thinking, you're like, why does it look like vampire fangs? Look at this, look at this. It literally looks like a little bear fangs. Like, oh my goodness, I can't handle it. But, um, okay, so now we're moving on to purple. And I noticed that if you start out like thick and then you just drag it out a little bit, it kind of creates a little cone. And then they kind of look like lights. So, I mean, it kind of worked out a little bit. But this green, oh my God, this green was giving me such a hard time. As you can see, I've had to do it like over and over again. And I thought I would incorporate some unique colors into these rainbow cute little lights just because I, I didn't want any boring just red and green, you know, because we do have rainbow lights out there, people. They do exist. And of course, add the clear coat after anything you do. That most definitely helps. Okay, Christmas stockings. All right, so we're moving on to Christmas stockings. So I had to literally do two Christmas stockings. So this first Christmas stocking you're seeing is absolutely huge, gigantic. Don't do, don't do this. Don't, this, mistake, mistake. Okay. 
Okay, and I literally add clear to everything, like while everything else is drying. Okay, so we're moving on to the Christmas tree. So the Christmas tree is my favorite. You can literally use like any kind of tape that you have in your household. You don't need to use like this stripping tape. It's kind of crazy. Or striping tape, not stripping tape. Oh my God, Ellie. Um, see, in this video, I don't apply a clear coat and for some reason it actually worked out to my favor. I think it's because I apply hollow to it. And apparently I apply clear to it as well. <laughs> okay, so for this one, I apply hollow down first because I want it to look like snow. And you guessed it, it's the snowman. All right, so I literally just did three dots. I just made sure that they were perfectly circled and dripped them down and then made an absolutely tiny hat. I did have to, you know, look on the other side to see if it was coming out all right, but it came out pretty good. All right, moving on to our candy cane. Um, I literally took dots and just took a fan brush, well, a nail fan brush, and moved it back and forth and created this really cool hollow candy cane that I'm also going to include in a separate tutorial because that was just something in its on its own. So um, here I am literally just doing an experiment. I am carving out around this candy cane to see if it would actually like come out as a stamp and it actually did. If I apply enough thin layers of clear and hollow over everything, I noticed that things really did come up. And as long as you apply a lot and as long as you let it dry for a decent amount of time, you should be able to get it up. I, however, am extremely, extremely impatient. So it was really hard for me to wait for these to dry. So I waited like 20 minutes or so. But my recommendation for you would most definitely wait overnight. Don't be like me, people. Wait overnight, trust me. Because when you peel these up, you have to be very careful. Like, look at it. Look, you can see it uh, like on making a stamp. So please, peel gently, people. Please, please. Peel gently, people. I beg of you. See, that's because I didn't put it to clear down first. I knew it. And this one was so, like, look at this. It looks like it's glistening. And I'm like, mm, no, this isn't going to work. And oh, 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 no, what is it? What is it? Oh, my God. It's because I didn't put a clear down first. It's because I thought I could get away with it. You can't. You just can't. You need to put a clear down first. And now it's time to apply, kids. See how I have it all the way around my nail? Don't do that. Don't do that. I suggest stamping it down on your nail and starting from the bottom and then cutting around and then stamping it down. I am literally like doing everything possible to get these nails down right now and it is like physically impossible. So you really need to get really close to the edges. Make sure that you are applying some clear all around and usually it works. Now, I do recommend kids that when you are pushing these down, don't lose face. Every once in a while, you'll get like a thicker one that is just being a little stubborn on the side. Just add some clear. It will feel bulky at first. The snowman was really, really bulky at first, but then he adhered to my nail when the stamp and the clear nail polish came together, if you will. And uh, if you're a little extra, you can most definitely add some awesome decals to your beautiful tree because you know you're not finished until you add some messed up bulbs to your tree <laughs> all right and you are all after you're tapped done uh, blah, 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 after you tapped everything you are all done okay so that was interesting okay so i tried a bunch of methods when it came to applying these nails i first figured out that you definitely need a clear coat on the bottom of everything that's number one number two don't make it too thick i try to make it too thick and i was like oh this is great it will peel off better if it's thick it actually doesn't stay on your nail that well if it's too thick if it covers the nail if it's a little thick i think it's fine because as long as you cut it like to a good 
precision that it should stay on your nail because this thumb hasn't moved and everyone else that has like a smaller cut is tend to is tending to flap around a little bit so my advice to you guys would be thin little thin little my advice to you would be thin layers so my advice to you would be thin layers so what else and i also loved putting hollow on the bottom that was really cool like i i think the hollow really did dry quickly and in a good way so if you wanted like the cool like glittery background like how i did mr snowman it really does work if you want to do if you want to do small What are they called? If you want to do smaller ones, I would suggest also doing it thin, but then cutting very, very close around the actual image. And then when you apply your clear coat, you make sure that it goes around the edges and actually like dissolves it. So it might actually be a little thick. I did try to add hollow on the top of this adorable little hat but it absolutely killed it and i'm so upset and then right after i did my tree up my upside down tree it literally got killed so i mean this tutorial could have went better because i am very impatient so don't be like me kids be patient and have fun like it's a lot of fun seriously what else? Is there anything else I wanted to tell you guys? Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, step number three I want to say is definitely to make sure it dries. Like don't rush it. Like don't do it a day before Christmas and then get excited about it and then like right, get ready to peel it. Like I would say if you have a really cute stencil going, oh a really cute stencil. I would say if you have a really cute design going, then let it dry for like a day. That's what I would do, just to make sure that it actually peels up. Or for a few hours, if you really can't wait that long, because I can't wait that long. What was the other thing? Um, do, 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 do. And another thing, oh my goodness, I noticed that when I was making the candy cane and I was scratching around it, oh my god, it was so cool to be able to make my own design and be able to scratch around it and then I tried to put some clear nail polish around it so I would be able to lift it up better because it just by itself was not working like it was just regular nail polish on the lid and it wasn't working like that so make sure that you put a clear nail polish down and then or a hollow and then your colors and then keep applying clear after that so it's very easy to peel and I know I'm saying apply all these layers and then I'm telling you not to apply all these layers. It's very hard. It's very hard to do. If you need to do a thicker one, like I said, I suggest doing a full nail because those actually feel like they like adhere to your nail. Like this is so smooth right now. I've never had like a smooth nail like this. This is pretty cool. Like the sides are a little messed up because I quickly rush them, but they're all starting to dry and even with the excess little bit of nail polish on the side of my nails it's really not that bad like I feel like if I added a little bit of nail polish now that they dried a little bit I feel like they would stay like they're they're not coming off they're just just the corners are like starting to rise so in conclusion make sure they're not thick make sure they're thin make sure they're not thick make sure they're thin um probably don't apply an extra hollow unless you want something to be like disguised because this you can't even see the santa hat like it's so sad it's such a cute santa hat you can't even see it um let it dry for a long time and make sure you apply a clear coat first so those are the four rules of doing this design and you will be successful like i was a little unsuccessful oh number five probably the most important rule should be number one but um be patient Seriously, because I am the most impatient person there is, probably. I'm literally, I'm turning 28 in a few weeks, and I act like I'm 8 still. So, like, literally, I'm, like, doing my nails, I'm like, <laughs> so excited. Like, I'm literally so excited. Oh, wow, okay, so the, the snowman didn't do too bad. 
All right, so I was freaking out because the snowman was like really thick when I was like first like trying to adhere to my nail And I know you guys noticed that in the video. You're like, oh my god, this looks like it's going so bad, but it actually It actually Smoothed down a lot on the side so I cut really close to the snowman and then I adhered like right here and I do feel it like being thick but it's actually dried and smooth and it actually worked awesome okay so awesome okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope this actually works for you and thank god for having innovative ellie hacks because literally i was just staring at these one day and i'm like something inside of me said you can use these for something else like you can most definitely figure something else out for these like you can definitely figure something else out for these because you're literally going to throw them away. So knowing me, I had to find another way to use it. And I am so glad I could share it with the world. And I hope you guys use it. I hope you guys save some money. I hope you guys make some cute nails. Let me know down below if you guys did so. And subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see some awesome more Ellie hacks or any cool... Or anything else. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Happy holidays. Bye.